So I believe we have not done this cave yet. We're in Sage's cave. Two bosses here. I also got to throw on the sentry's torch. We're basically going to be in Altus for like the next hour, I think, more or less. It's going swimmingly. How far in are you? What new game cycle? Status effects for Godfrey and G plus two. So you're, you're at the end then, I take it. Do I need a stone sword key? No, definitely not. I have 10? Oh my god. At the end, NG plus one. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. Are you running the same build all the way through, or are you changing it up uh, for every cycle? Get one of these. And it missed. Ah! Family heads. If I change it midway to a dex build for faster cast speed, that's one thing I need to do. I need to maybe get some decks on this build. Once I get all my faith or whatever, and bleed frost. Yeah, you can't go wrong with bleed and frost. Both are good individually, and together it's very, uh, very strong. I remember I had a, I think it was a cold Uchi in this game. That was very really good. Anything with percentage health-based damage is just solid. Not Bash. Why did I do an R2 there? I think when I did the Finger Seal run, I used Lance Axis Glaive. Because it just swings in such a wide arc, it's so easy to hit the assassin. Okay, I think we still need to do Old Altus Tunnel and Elimir, so we're gonna go here. Yeah, that and you get hyper armor on it too, which is pretty nice. So we got the troll, and then we got Elimir, and then I gotta think of what else I haven't done. I think Gelmir after that, maybe? Oh no, I have to do- I think I have to do the sealed tunnel, because I've done like a lot of Altus. I had to do a bunch of it to get to the second Gravelstone seal. So I'm kind of filling in the gaps of the things that I pushed off. Elimir might be a tough fight, honestly. Just because it's such a tiny room you fight him in, and the spells are so slow, and he is very much not slow. Just parry him? Honestly, that wouldn't be the worst idea, but, uh... <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried to parry him. I also don't even know if I have a shield to parry him with. I do. Probably not going to, though. But that's probably something I should learn. I think the only thing I really have parried in this game is... the Crucible Knight. Put Golden Parry on the Gravel Stone Seal. Imagine if you could. Can you? I don't think you can. That'd be cool. Hmm, let's do this one. Sure. That worked. I'm surprised it hit him that many times. It's funny though, because like, I'll, I'll just do Lightning Spear and I'll do, you know, a decent chunk of damage, nothing crazy. And then you do that spell and it looks like you're cheating. <laughs> it just does, it does so much damage. Won't do much here though. It's a fantastic spell, oh yeah, for sure. It's just, you know, it's not good against small targets. That's the only thing. Luckily, there's a lot of big targets in this game. Oops. I don't even have the second one on. Wow. Could have done more damage. I'm still holding out hope we're going to see a trailer this week. For DLC. I was like half expecting expecting it today, but... 
nothing, as far as I know. Anyone here played PAL World yet? I feel like someone must have. That game just came out of nowhere and is breaking player count records, sales records. You have? Is it fun? I feel like I'd probably like it. It's like what a lot of people are saying, combination of Ark Pokemon and Breath of the Wild. Yeah, at first I just heard Pokemon with guns and then people are like, yeah, it's more like Ark. But this is the first time hearing Breath of the Wild. It's so interesting how just sometimes games come out of nowhere. Perk system is even directly stolen from Ark. <laughs> That's funny. This is gonna hurt. Ah, I didn't even get it off. Great. What do I do here? Just wait for the shield attack, I guess. You can tell how self-aware the game is. There we go. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Now what? Seal tunnel? I think. I think seal tunnel and then... Gelmir. Yeah, how many people are playing on Steam right now? It's gotta be close to a million. Although maybe not because it's a Monday, but... I think it was near a million over the weekend, if not a million. 1.4 million? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Game of the year. Game of the year numbers. What else is coming out this year, I wonder? It's multiplayer too, right? Or is it not? I, th I thought I heard or saw that it was. Elden Ring 2. It is, so how does the multiplayer work? Is it like an MMO or is it like co-op? Mm. Well, I gotta get Faith to 60 because I'm gonna take the uh, other talisman off. This one. It's co-op, okay. This year so far is turning out to be great for gaming. Wait, what else has come out this year? Oh, you just meant like in the future. I thought you meant like so far. I'm like, what else What else came out? It's been 22 days. <laughs> the Elden Ring DLC, Silk Song, surely. Hades 2. Like a Dragon Infinite Wolf is out in three days, which is probably not gonna be as exciting for a lot of people, but I'm excited for it. Okay, yeah, what do we do here? I mean, we can kind of do whatever we want here. This guy's a pushover. One more. Time for bullying, yes. Quite. Alright, going to... Wyndham Catacombs, where is it? Here. Nope, here. Love the cyberpunk intro. Glad to know that hasn't changed in three days. Be funny if you came in here and said, I hate the cyberpunk intro after saying you loved it on Friday. Holy lag. When you say the cyberpunk intro, do you mean the main menu? Because how are you watching it more than once? Start a new game every time they want to watch it. <laughs> Imagine. Cyberpunk, but you can only play the intro. And it's great every time. Endurance. Because why not? I should go Faith, though. That's not the right way. This is the right way. Before you get into the main menu, there's, an actu there's a cutscene, and it's news about the NC, about Night City. And it's different every time. I take it. What are your thoughts on the cyberpunk intro? <laughs> he loves it! The crowd goes wild! Now yeah, we're doing the glaive. No, it's the same? Oh. I thought I thought the news would change every time you load it up. That'd be kind of cool, based on like what's happening in the game or what's going to happen in the game or something. I can't move. Why? Why are you like this? I 
All right. Time to die. Okay, magma worm. How do you get out of here? Let's see. It's Monday today. I think we'll be done with this run by the end of the week. And then after this, we have the cost parasite. That's going to replace this run. I don't know what's going to replace Bloodborne. That'll be rolled. Oh, also, I updated. I did update the spreadsheet. Finally, it only took me like a month, almost two months, actually. But it's finally updated. That's where it will remain for the next month and a half until I have to update it again. I feel like there's no point almost in using this frozen lightning spear here, because if I just do this, not that, this. I'll die pretty quickly, unless I die first anyway. Can you stop? Did he freeze? I don't think he did yet. Still no. Okay, that... No, I still don't think he did, actually. Is it even possible? Like, yeah, ah, screw it. We're just gonna do this. Should've just done that from the beginning. I just really didn't want this to turn into Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, the run, because that seems not fun. I wanted to use, like, every, every, all the, bleh, everything. Talking is hard. What's my mind down? Is that at 60? That's at 50. Okay, we can take that to 60, but I think I'm just gonna get Bathe to 60 first. I need three more levels. And then I can take this off and I can put the Ritual Sword Talisman on, I guess. Although I think I had a, I thought I had another talisman in mind, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Okay, that helps. Except that I'd only killed one of the Glintstone Sorcerers instead of three of them. He did not die well. From the first one, I mean, he did die, just took both hits, surprisingly. I hate this so much. Uh-oh. Dude, this is so awful. This fight sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's get from here, do this. Okay, or not. Actually, can you kill Azur? I don't want to kill him. He's too nice. This guy just does nothing but spam R1. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, we got one flashback. Sick. I get two back? I thought I had zero, but I guess, uh... I don't know. All right. What to do here? I'm just gonna do Lightning Spear until she comes over here. It's like the longest Maggie fight I've ever had. Is this a heal? Thank you. That took way too long. There's the door. Here it is. Once again, in Gilmere Heroes Grave. Can I level? I can. Let's go more faith. Barely. Can barely level. Well, this guy's gonna live, I guess. I don't have a weapon to hit him into the lava. 
so he gets killed by the chariot. Can I make this? This is going to be actually pretty close. Ooh. That was too close. Where am I? There's no one on the screen. Uh oh. Whoa, that was actually insanely close. I didn't think that was going to be that close. All right, Red Wolf. I, I kind of don't think we have a choice here. We're pretty much going to have to use Lightning Spear. And maybe like four seconds Lightning Spear when he does the attack where he goes in the air and comes down. But he's just too fast for really anything else. I mean, you can probably hit him with other stuff, but it's... You just kind of get lucky. Oh, that attack is such it's so brutal. You just get true comboed if he hits you with the charge. I don't even know if this is going to work. Got him with one and the shockwave of the other. A home bolt actually would be good too. Probably. Homebolt is very slow, though. At least to start up. On the wrong side. Portal's way over here. So we got Margo, we got the Falling Star Beast, and the Ulcerated Tree Spirit. And then after this, I think we go... I think I would normally go to the Bellberry Hunter. So that's done through the Dachronic Tree Sentinel. So we have the Grave Warden Duelist and then the Crucible Knight Duo after that. So we're probably... We gotta, we're definitely over 100 bosses in. Actually, yeah. No, we are. I think. Actually, maybe not. Actually, no, we're not. I think we're caught up once... We get through Gelmir, this the, the Ulcerated Tree Spirit. And then from there, it's basically just a normal path. Although I'll be able to get like further into Lane Dell after we get through Fius Champs, because I think I have a Grace. I don't know which one, though, but I know I have a Grace there. So Limgrave is done. Lyurnia is not done, but it's not going to be done for a bit. Kaelin's done, but one boss. And then Altus will have some stragglers. Rykard, the sewer bosses. Godfrey Morgot. And it really is tough to say how much longer this run is going to take. We're 10 hours in. It's pr it's going to be under 20. There's no way it won't be under 20. I'd be shocked if it wasn't 10 hours to do less than half of the bosses remaining. Especially with Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. It's no way. The Demi-Human Chief, dude, like, he just runs away. I don't know why. It's happened on a, I think, like, three runs in a row now. Stop. I just want to be able to spam this and win. Um, instead, I'm going to die because I'm an idiot. Heal. Wait. She killed one of her children. This boss is like Amelia, but what's annoying. That's what it reminds me of. Not complete, you know, it's not completely Amelia. Moveset's different, but it's very similar to Amelia in terms of feel, I guess. Okay, what for the Falling Star Beast? Probably just Lightning Spear. I don't want to be anywhere near this thing. This would also work, actually. This would probably be better. Big boss, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. Very good against big bosses. The Ninth Mount Gelmir Campsite. What happened to the first eight? What did Miyazaki do with them? I feel it's going to be very tough to get a charge one off, though. 1700 damage with one hit. Stay right there. Thank you. That was beautiful. I wish it did. It should have done more, I think. 
Okay, well, lightning spear here. A thousand damage on a non headshot. If he does lasers, he's dead. He did not do lasers. He lives. Please die. And that all missed? Are you serious? How do you miss this guy? He's doing it. He's doing a laser. There it is. He's dead. No way he isn't. Andy in the courtesy to park himself right near the exit. Don't need the golden seed. We're good on those. So I think after this guy, there's another nine bosses in Gelmir. I'm not mistaken. At least for now. And then we go underground and fight the Mimic Tier. And other stuff, but the mimic tier fight. Mimic tier fight's always fun when you have like a, a weird build. Alright, do 60. Oh, I can't do 60, never mind. 59. I wanted to get the ritual sword talisman. Shield talisman, I'm sorry. And I might prefer that over the ritual sword talisman just because I tank a lot of damage with this build. Because these spells are, or a lot of them are just so slow. Immediate frost, wow. Probably should just do this. Yeah, of course. Actually, it did hit him in the end. I thought I was going to whiff completely. Okay, well, somehow it missed up close. I don't know how that's even possible. Of course. He gets frostbitten, like, super quickly. It's so weird. So we're going back to, I think, here. So we should be at 98 bosses, I think. I'm also really bummed that you can't just jump down to the Spirit Spring from here. You could make it if you're on the bridge, but there's a death barrier. His first fight should be pretty easy. The second fight, less so. Oh, and I can't level either. That's a bummer. 15k. Let's do this. We're going to pop a couple of these. It's 105. I need another... 30x, 30x, 31k. Uh, is we're done? 30 or 40? Yeah, it's fine. Do more faith. And we can take off this and throw on this. But I think I'm going to swap it out for the ritual shield talisman. Like, the damage is not the problem. Staying alive is going to be the problem, especially once we get to the snowfield and the mountaintops when things start hitting much harder. Okay, these guys need to chill. I think they're dead. Beautiful. Oh, one of them is alive somewhere. Look at him trying to climb the ladder. You probably can't even really see him. It's very, uh, faint. He's trying, though.
So for this, we can probably use, I guess we can do Frozen Lightning Spear to start and then just swap to the Glaive. Oh, the pots are dead. It's probably like the one of the first times I have actually killed the bots before I killed this guy. Okay, froze, good. Poor guy. Soldiers of fortune. It's so nice to have a plus 12 flask. You just get so much replenishment. The run is going well. It was a slow start in New Game, but I feel like, you know, since we've hit New Game Plus, it's been fine. The lightning spells are pretty cool. I am enjoying them. I didn't remember a lot of them, honestly. It's not that I didn't remember them. I, like, I remembered what they did. It's more like, like, knowing the ins and outs of, like, what gets hyper armor and things like that. I didn't know that Frozen Lightning Spear... Well, I know it can frost things, but I didn't know that you can deal more damage to enemies who are frostbitten. So that was cool to learn. Won't matter for here. I don't think... Can you can you freeze Crucible Knights? I don't think you can. I thought they were immune to all status effects. I know they're immune to bleed. Don't really know what I want to do for this fight. Hone Bolt could work. Just stay far enough away and spam it on... The Spear Knight, and then I don't know what I'm going to do for... Oh, actually, you know what? I, I'm pretty sure that they don't negate this damage very well. I think I remember that from the, uh... One of the fights. I didn't mean to use that. I'm pretty sure I did Lightning Spear against the... The Evergill Crucible Knight, and it just... Melted him. Even with the shield. Oops. They kind of close the distance too quickly to make that work. Lightning Spear might just be the safest bet here. Oof. This is actually good for damage, I think, because they just kind of like sit in a line. Don't even need to freeze them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bounce spot to begin. I couldn't even roll that. I was still healing. I was hoping I could sneak a heal in there. Did not work. Oops, a little early. Double trouble. Both in phase two. Uh oh. Ooh. Luckily that wasn't the quick one. I'm pretty sure there's a quick attack, a quick like version of that attack and then a slow one. Uh oh, what are you doing? Oh, he's not doing anything. I assume it's a woman, just because Silveri is a woman. This is the man Crucible Knight. The other one is the woman. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, you can strafe that, I think. Did not do a very good job of it, though. Eh, we'll just do Lightning Spear, just chuck him.
All right, so next I would normally do Sage's Cave, but that's done, so I think we have Lance the Axe next. And Lance the Axe is very resistant to lightning, so this should be fun. I do really hope I'm not missing anything here. I think we're good. I think I've got pretty much everything else in Altus aside from the seven that I have to do now, but I don't really know. But I try to freeze Lance Axe first and then probably just do Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. We'll see how that goes. The problem with Lance Axe is she's got really skinny legs, so it might be hard to hit a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Again, also very resistant to lightning. That's just going to be a problem in general for this build, but what can you do? Legs aren't that skinny, I guess. All oh, the rams. OK, good frosted. I just gotta get a moment to cast this. Yeah, of course. Cowardly dragon. This probably won't deal much, if anything. Uh, of course. Actually, hit her though. This honestly might just be the best option for the fact that it does frost damage. Uh, Y'all right? Is she? Wish it was happening here. What are you doing? Oh. There we go. Wave. Yeah, it's not great. Not surprising, though. I'm gonna use her glaive on her. Did nothing. 300 damage. Yeah, Lintex and Fortis Tanks, I think, have to be like the two most lightning resistant bosses in this game. Right? I can't think of anything else, really. That hit three times and did 1132. Granted, it's not fully charged, but this thing normally deals like, you know, many thousands of damage. 2,000 there was pretty good. Oh, she's dead. Okay, I guess it's still good. Another Lance Axe's Glaive. How good that does me. I think it's kind of silly that you can get the same spell twice. What was I looking for? Oh, Stone Sword Keys. I think we just need four. I think we're good. I have like six, you know. Cool. I don't remember if you can freeze assassins or not. I don't know if I would try this on Electo, because I think she's just going to be way too scary, but I like it's working on every other assassin. It's every like time they get hit by it, they get staggered. That's gross. Black knife. This is what the third seal run you've done. Finger Slayer seal or finger seal, not finger slayer seal and the dragon communion seal. I don't think we've done any other ones, though. Level up. Go. We should probably get endurance, but I can just go mind. Mind to 60, I think. This part shouldn't be too bad with AoE, hopefully. Nice. Wait, wait never mind. That's the other one. Get them all. Get them all. Oh, baby. Beautiful. Now we just have to pray the guy here cooperates. 
I hate the guillotines so much. <laughs> I'm too scared to just charge through them. They do so much damage. Like, I feel like you can charge through them when you're going backwards pretty easily. But going forwards, it's tricky. All right, you drop down. That's good. They're more synced up, I think, when you go backwards than they are when you go forwards. Oh, my God. Come on, dude. Not cool. One more? Wait, why am I rotted? What rotted me? These guys? Do these guys do rot? I actually have no idea. I don't know when it got applied. I don't think these guys rot. There's a Scarlet Rot version of them. Rotten Duelist? I don't think so. I think it's just a normal one. I'll have to go back and look at that in like a week. Actually, it'd probably be longer before I get to this, uh, editing this, considering we're 10 hours in. Oh, almost 11 hours in. Ah! Can I get a stagger on this? Oh, you actually do. Neat. It's actually like such a good spell for PvE. Not for everything, but for for a lot of guys it is, I feel. Kristoff. The Ancient Dragon Knights are actually insane. So that should be 105 bosses, I think. I think we have 105 done. Something like that, I don't know. Definitely past the halfway point though, numbers wise. Time wise, I don't really know. Depends on how long the late game bosses take to kill. And Reichard is usually like very long, so we shall see. I don't even know what I'm going to do for Reichard, but we'll see. I mean, I did the hand ballista with Reichard. I can't imagine I can't do this. It might suck, though, and I might want to get a healing spell or something. We're not limited by ballista bolts this time, so that's cool. Armor tank can do the landing everywhere spell. Yeah, probably. But I wonder if I should do uh... What is it? This Frozen Lightning Spear first. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. It's a long name. 